Okay. I'm getting ready for a long trip. Backpacking trip. And so I have to get packed. And I haven't dug out my equipment in quite a while. Because I usually just day hike. And I use a much smaller pack for day hiking. This is my backpacking, my long distance backpacking equipment. I bought this a few years ago for some trips on the Appalachian Trail and to a for a long trip in Colorado. It's produced by a German outfit called Deuter. It's a pretty good backpack. It's not the best, but it's uh, fine for what I need it for. Trips of about eight days, up to eight days. I don't think uh, it would be appropriate for anything longer than that. It's a good pack, has lots of pockets, has a big central storage area, plenty of little extra storage units inside of it, pockets that I use to carry my tent, my stove, everything you need when you're out on the trail for a long distance hike, backpack. It served me well when I was in Colorado and it's worked well on the Appalachian Trail. So all in all I've been quite happy with this one. Now this is some of the material that I take with me when I go backpacking. This is my all-purpose sleeping bag. It's a good sleeping bag. It's not really great for super cold temperatures. When it gets down below about 15 degrees, I have to use a winter sleeping bag. But this is the one I use when I go backpacking in the spring and summer. I bought it from REI. Again, it's not a high dollar sleeping bag. It's got downfill, and uh, they say it's good down to 15 degrees, and I have slept comfortably in temperatures that low, but only if I use a, a sleeping bag liner, an extra liner, which uh, helps out a lot with conserving body heat. I need to air that one out, let the down loft out. This is my uh, cocoon liner. It's cotton. It's made for a uh, mummy bag. And uh, when it gets cold, believe me, this is really a nice addition to a, a sleeping bag. I'm not going to pull it out, but uh, this is what it looks like. It's called a cocoon. I bought it at REI, but I'm not sure who manufactures it. Good to good item. This is a stuff sack for my sleeping bag. Um, comes in handy when I'm not using it on the trail. I store other material in it. And uh, this is something a lot of people don't take. It's a uh, stuff collapsible pillow. It's not an inflatable pillow. It's made of fabric. And uh, I take it because I'm, uh, I find it a lot more comfortable than an inflatable pillow. Just take it out, fluff it up, and it stuffs back down into this little bag. This is my duck's back backpack protector for when it's raining. You've got a good downpour, you take this out and put it on your backpack. Fortunately, I haven't had to use it very much. But it's a, you know, it's a must-have if you're hiking in temperate areas where you get a lot of rain. I take this little plastic cup. I used to take bigger cups, but uh, I found this is just fine. It's very lightweight. Works well. This is my old Sierra cup. It's made of metal. And uh, when I was a kid, just starting out in the 70s, backpacking, everybody had to have a Sierra cup. Um, it's actually not good for much. It's hard to handle 
and uh, as I got older, I just found it was a pain in the ass, and I, I hardly ever take it with me anymore. If you're going backpacking for extended periods, you have to have a water purifier. Now, lately, there have been all kinds of neat new water purifiers on the market, and uh, if I was buying one now, I wouldn't buy this one. It's a Katahdin. It's a pump system. It uses a ceramic filter, and it's a really good water purifier, but now they have contraptions that are just very small and very lightweight and easy to use just basically squeeze the damn things and uh, that's what I would get if I was buying something now but I paid 80 or 90 bucks for this and uh, so I'm stuck with it and it works well so I'll keep it made by MSR sorry not Katata MSR this is my favorite backpacking piece of equipment it's my one-man tent now I have gone through a lot of backpacking tents but uh, this is the best one I've ever had and I'll try to put up a link to uh, a review I did of this tent it's just it's an MSR hubba a lot of people buy their two-man tent called the hubba hubba but um, I usually go backpacking alone I sleep alone this is a great absolutely fantastic tent MSR hubba I usually take at least two exterior fanny packs pocket packs like this one that I keep my um, camera equipment in and then this one for I usually keep medicine um, snacks things like that in this one don't go anywhere without it backpacking toilet paper <laughs> got to have this this is my um, black diamond headlamp again uh, you know you get caught in the dark sometimes wake up in the night need to go do some business outside LED lights back when I uh, started out backpacking usually had to carry a flashlight the first headlamps were uh, old style bulbs and used heavy batteries they were a pain in the ass I hardly ever took them but this thing is lightweight puts out a shitload of light yep this is the one a uh, little titanium spork and knife that my wife bought me I haven't even used this yet uh, so my next trip I'll, I'll use this now this um, I used to take a lot of pots and pans with me backpacking and then you know it's pointless all you really need is one pot some people take a pot cup combination but I like this little again it's MSR it's not their most lightweight material but it works for me it's just a pot I cook in it I eat in it out of it it's uh, just a great pot I can boil water for washing and I can store stuff that I need on the trail inside of it while I'm packing this is a biodegradable soap salt and pepper you can put all kinds of seasonings and stuff got to have salt and pepper for flavor when you're out on the trail now this is a cool little stove it's called the MSR pocket rocket it's uh, the cheapest stove made um, you can actually get versions of this on the internet now for just a few bucks but this is a actual licensed MSR pocket rocket so I think I paid 30 bucks for this it just screws onto the fuel bottle you screw it down you tighten it there's your control turn it on fuel comes out ignite it this is your pot support right there put your pot with water in it whatever you're cooking works great a lot of people have gone over to lightweight versions of stoves alcohol burning stoves that type of thing I've always been happy with the propane burning pocket rocket. I'm going to keep it. I may convert to uh, alcohol burning stoves at some point, but for now, I'm quite happy with this. I usually have all kinds of water bottles, just whatever is handy. Uh, 
I just I like these little things. Um, this was my wife's, but I take it backpacking a lot. Here's a, uh, a stainless steel bottle. This goes with me a lot. You always have to have um, good water bottles when you're out backpacking. Um, I also have a internal water bladder that goes into my pack. Fits down. into here and then you have a an outlet where the hose comes through here and you have a constant supply of water while you're hiking you can just drink it down through a mouthpiece I don't currently have that out here it's stored in my truck but I'll show that at a later video this is my um, sleeping pad it's an inflatable sleeping pad um, again, when I bought it, this was pretty much top of the line. That's uh, a good 10 years ago. Now they make much more lightweight sleeping pads, but there's nothing wrong with this one. I don't mind carrying the extra weight. It's very comfortable. I'm going to keep it. This is a backpacking towel that my wife bought for me, and uh, I've never used it. Apparently, they're, uh, they dry quickly. And eventually, probably this next trip I'm going on, I'll have uh, plenty of opportunity to use this backpacking towel. And here's a little item I bought a few years ago. Again, I've never used it, but I may someday. It's a little candle lantern. You buy uh, candles, put them in there, and uh, it's a good backup source of, of light in case your batteries run out or whatever. I've never used it, but I bought it, and I think I'm going to take it with me on my next trip.